Hi Dishies! I'm back again with some Christmas things, but I completely forgot to show you my little dolly! Of course, one of my favorite things I found while I was out. I almost didn't get her too. Isn't she cute? She is just so cute. $6 and she is marked Japan. She is probably from the 1920s or the 1930s, these little bisque Japan dolls were very popular. I haven't cleaned her or anything. She'll look really cute when I clean her. She is just going to sit and watch us while we do our haul. I got this cute little tray. This is one of the things I got. I am trying not to buy any of these trays. I don't like to sell them. But they don't sell for very much and I don't like to find a the right size box to ship it in but this one i liked and i thought it would be fun to put christmas cookies on and my mom might even like this she likes things like this and this is just a, seems to be a really like it would be a very useful one it's it's marked christmas deluxe crystal finish it's probably from the 1970s made in the usa it does have a upc but it's probably from the 70s or 80s but I think it's cute and I like it. This cute little item is something Alicia found and I think it's super swell. Look at the box. I love that it's in the box. And do you see this image here of the little angels around the candles? That's what's in the box and I am gonna show you. Do you see it says, on by my thumb here it says made in western germany i don't know what this has to do with but it's just pencil on there um yeah and i can't remember what i paid for it i think it was six dollars or maybe the price maybe the price is inside maybe it was eight dollars and here it is it's red, which is fabulous. And then look at these little angels. These are the candles. I'm going to put it together for you here. Look at the little angels. Aren't those cute? And you could put it around something, I suppose. Their faces. All their wings are intact. There's nothing broken. Isn't that cute? I just realized this is somebody's vendor tag here. And I think that's also what's written on the box. So they had originally priced it at $14 and something, but I think I got it for $6. Isn't that cute? I will not be keeping it. Um, I'm either going to sell it or have it in the December giveaway. Let me know if you have any thoughts about that. Moving on. At that same store, which was the cancer shop, I bought these. I'm not going to turn them on because they're actually pretty loud and obnoxious. They were $2 for these. They were $2 for these Snoopy lights. They're in great condition. They work and they also, it also plays music. And it plays it pretty loud. They were only $2 and I'm going to resell these on eBay. Snoopy snowflake lights. I love Snoopy. At the same place, 
I saw this little box and it had writing and I saw it said 1966 and it was two dollars so I thought I would like what was inside it no matter what it was but what it is let's see I should have organized it ahead of time it comes like this there's a were a few of them this is the only one that's un, untouched and you unwind the twine here which is actually pretty soft it's probably cotton and then you add these little clothespins and it's to hang your Christmas cards isn't that cute I have a little this is just a piece of cardboard that was on something but your Christmas cards would hang there. Isn't that so cute? So I'm gonna keep these. And yeah, they're probably from the 60s. And it was a whole box full of them. And it even has the, you know, thumbtacks. So I liked those for $2 in the little eye magnet box from the 1960s. Some ornaments. A little wooden angel. She was like 50 cents or a dollar, I can't remember. She's handmade. I thought she was sweet. And he, I thought, was pretty special. He's like a complete spun cotton Santa. Look at him. Or felted, whatever you want to say. His, he's got little glass beads on his coat. His little boots. I think he's very well done. I just love him. I'm going to be keeping those both. This little aluminum teapot. I think these were part of a set that was sold at one time. I don't know how old they are, but I thought it was cute. It wasn't very much, 50 cents or a dollar, I think. And then this guy, oh, I could not pass him up. He's super cute. You know what, let's move this because I think the red is not doing me any favors there. Yeah, he's like a little goldfish or koi fish maybe. He's made out of plastic. He's got buggy little eyes and his fins are on little springs. And he was $3. I'm going to sell him. What is wrong with this thing? And Alicia gave me these cuties here, this Raggedy Ann and Andy dough ornaments. And these look to be older, probably from the 1970s. Yeah, they just have a piece of thread for the hanger, which I probably would not use because they would just fall. But I will probably be selling those as cute as they are. Last for the ornaments is this blown glass fish who's hand painted and he has a gold tinsel tail. I think he's superb. And I will be selling him. He was, 250. The rest of what I have is for crafting and most of it was given to me by Alicia. She had um, she had gone shopping and found a bunch of uh, bags of things. So let me show you what I have. This was actually something I bought when I bought those little Christmas card holders. This is for train sets and things like that, but it is a bottle brush type of tree and they were, it was only $1.50 and I thought I could use that for my doll's house and miniatures. Here are, were, are some other bottle brush things from Alicia, the two tiny trees, the medium tree and the wreath. Plastic pieces and greenery. I thought these were kind of cool. And this one too is very kitschy and weird, which I love. Some candy pieces and presents. 
a, a sugared potted plant. That's cool. A little nest with some eggs, red and green. A little flocked panda on a card. Isn't he cute? I don't, you can see it says Japan there. There's a quarter. These little clips, candle clips for your tree. I have lots of these that are vintage. A lantern, which is pretty cool. I can't get it to stay all the way open. Another flocked critter, a little koala. It's pretty cute. A flocked Santa Claus, great for crafting. Something's shedding here. A cuckoo clock. Isn't that cute? A coffee grinder. I love this. A little coffee grinder. A little bird cage. Little blue soldier. Some random pieces of fruit. I thought those were kind of funny. And a little deer. Just a little tiny one. And that is all I have. Once again, I almost forgot to tell you, I also found this cute Santa Claus. He's about 14 inches high. He's just like a little figurine. He is posable. I think with my one arm, I'm not gonna be able to kind of move him for you. But I saw him in a thrift store and I don't buy modern Santas or contemporary Santas rather, but I looked at his face and it's, um, you know, composition or paper mache and his beard is wool. It's like a mohair wool and he's got a lovely velvet suit with his sharp white belt and his slick white boots. And I thought I better pick him up. He didn't have any marking on him. Well, it turns out he is a Harold Gale Santa Claus, G-A-L-E. You can look him up. He and his wife founded a company um, back in the 1940s and they made the large display Santas for department stores out in Kansas City. And then in the late 50s, early 60s, he started making these smaller ones so people could have them at home. And he was a great price. He was only $4. And I may try to sell him, but I stuck him up here and I sure like him a lot. So I might keep him for another year. We'll see. And that's all I have to show you for now. I hope you enjoyed my little Christmas haul. Have a great day. Ta.